All right, now Poco X3 Pro. This has been a controversial device for all its lifespan. A lot of devices have died and this used to be one of the most, you know, value for money gaming devices. We still have it, this particular unit. A lot of y'all have been questioning on the channel as to why has my Poco X3 Pro not died yet? Well, my device did die and I did get this one as a replacement. So this is the second new phone that I got in warranty. Nonetheless, that doesn't stop us from trying new custom ROMs on this device and one such example is Aero OS 13 that I've been using on this device for the last one week and trust me, although I'm using the Mi 11X as my personal device, this has amazed me with the smoothness. Hello everyone, my name is Kailash, you're watching Phone Ops and this is a complete review of Aero OS for the Poco X3 Pro. Before we begin though, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so first things first, now ROM reviews are very very interesting and important for a lot of people because that helps you to decide as to you should flash this ROM or not, which is Android version. Android version on this particular update is 13, this is a GApps variant of AeroOS that we are using. This of course is the latest build of January 2023. So if you keep tapping on the Android version, of course you will get your Android 13 Easter egg over here. And even then you will notice that, you know, this is really, really smooth compared to what Poco X3 Pro does on the stock ROM. This is a beautiful experience. If we talk about the camera situation, well, that's a little disappointing because you don't get MIUI camera, neither do you get Gcam Go or Gcam at all which means you will have to make do with this basic camera application or you will have to hunt for a good Gcam version with your favorite XML, which should give you pretty decent quality in terms of camera. Now to the left, of course, we have all the favorite Google feed features available. It is absolutely smooth and works like a charm. Now, AeroOS per se is not a custom ROM, which is like CR, Droid or Spark OS, which has a ton of customization. It comes with minimal customization, but it focuses on stability and smoothness. And that's what we get over here. You get a suite of Google apps over here, along with very, very few pre-installed applications. Now, what that does is it gives you a system which is extremely, extremely smooth and fast, and you don't really have a lot of bloatware. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Now, moving on, let's talk about security. So if you go to the Play Store and if you talk about device certification, the device over here is certified. You do have safety net. That means you can use Google Pay, Phone Pay, your banking applications without any security risk. At the same time, you have Widevine L1 certification, so you can consume media in HD as well. So you won't have a problem there. Now, another thing to note about AeroS over here is it follows the complete Android 13 guidelines. Now, the reason I say this is not only because you have Monit UI doing a great job, but just like Android 13, the theme right now in action is light. But if you look at this quick tiles, the background on there is black. That is how you would see it on the Pixel 7 series or 6 series of devices. Now, if we talk about quick tiles, you don't really have a lot. There are a few available over here. So quick tile customization is there. But things like, you know, caffeine or some advanced customization options are also available. But screen refresh rate or miscellaneous things are not available in this particular ROM. Now, the moment you go to settings, you will see a very, very standard and basic layout. And it makes me think that this is one of the best custom ROMs available for the Poco X3 Pro. So you don't really have a lot of things going on over here. Yes, of course, you have parallel space, which is a custom ROM feature and a good thing. But apart from that, you know, gaming mode and all the other things, they are not that advanced like MIUI. They are pretty basic. So if you search for gaming over here, game dashboard is available and you cannot select which apps have to be added or not. So it is automatic over here. If we talk about the battery backup now for this particular ROM, that is one of the highlights, one of the talking points. In AeroOS with Aero Kernel, I was easily able to get eight to nine hours of screen on time. Even in extreme gaming, I managed to play four to five hours in one charge. That for a device of this caliber is really, really good because remember, although this device comes with a 5160 milliamp hour battery, it does have a Snapdragon 860, which is an overclocked version of the 855. Now, under the battery section, you do have thermal profiles, which will help you to determine what kind of performance and processor speeds you want to give to each application. You have Profiles like benchmarks, browser, camera, dialer, gaming and streaming. So you can decide appropriately. Now if we then talk about the display section to see if we have any customizations over here, you have minimum and maximum refresh rate. The refresh rate options are 60, 90 and 120. Tap to wake, tap to sleep, 
status bar items can be customized and that's about it so you know as i said you don't really get a lot of customization if we talk about security you do have fingerprint unlock and face unlock they are present and they are working absolutely okay so all in all if you ask me arrow os is a very very basic custom rom which gives you pure android experience but what about the performance because hey the battery life is good the charging speeds are great you get around 1 hour 20 to 25 minutes to go from 5 to 100 percent so that's a pretty decent charging speed and battery backup is pretty insane as well so if we talk about the benchmark numbers here in Antutu to benchmark we scored a very very reasonable 581 148 now remember this is the score the poco x3 pro would get in miui so it's not disappointing the temperature increased by seven degrees and the battery dropped by four percentage now moving on if we talk about cpu throttle test for which we will go to google photos now let me tell you that you get unlimited storage in google photos which is a good thing considering this is a custom rom now as you can see over here this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos and if we talk about the throttling test which is very important for gamers we get 91 percent throttling and an average score of 190 to 821 with a maximum score of 203 398 gips so that's pretty amazing and if we then talk about geekbench numbers over here once again you know you get pretty good numbers over here so you do get a single core of 744 and a multi-core of 2458 now, in my opinion, the single core is fine, but the multi-core is a little on the lower side. But if you ask me, all in all, this is a good package. I did not notice any force closures. The call connectivity was absolutely fine. Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz works fine. Wi-Fi calling works fine. Something that I've not tried is carrier video calling. But hey, who uses that these days, right? We use WhatsApp video call or anything of that sort. All in all, this is a great ROM. If you have a Poco X3 Pro, you should definitely give it a try. It is not one of those ROMs which will give you out and out performance, but that also makes sure that you reduce the risk of breaking your device if you're not going to run it on the edge all the time. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this ROM and we will be coming with a lot more Poco X3 Pro videos. So subscribe to PhoneOps. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.